good morning on this wet and miserable morning. Um, my name is Ant, welcome to my workshop. Um, I haven't done a video for a couple of weeks. I uh, went to Benidorm, um, it was 30 degrees there. I came back for a day and then I went to Madrid. Um, it was 28, 29 degrees there. And I come back to England and um, it's freezing, it's wet, it's damp, it's grey. And I'm just thinking, <laughs> when can I next book a trip to Spain? But I did go to a car boot sale yesterday and managed to obtain, buy, acquire a few more items for my collection. But the first thing I'm going to show you is, I got these for a quid. I don't know if it's worth a quid, probably not, but I only had a quick flick through it. Um, you're, I haven't actually looked properly at it yet, so you'll see the same as me. It was in this folder. It's obviously come from an auction of some sort, an auction of, you know, a box of rubbish or whatever. There's a couple of books in there. That one is oh, a guide to welding. Do you know, it's funny because I was actually thinking about buying a little welder and I'm in a practice. Might be useful. Yeah, okay. Go in the library, I guess. But there was also this. Oh, hold on. What's that? There's another one there. What's this one? Cutter grinder practice with the compliments of Cincinnati Milling Machines Limited, Birmingham. I've never heard of them. Is that Birmingham, England or Birmingham, USA? I'd imagine it's Birmingham, England. Some sort of manual. I don't know. Well, I've never heard of them, to be fair. In Birmingham. I thought I knew all the factories in Birmingham. Okay. That'll do some I'll do some research on that. Let's get rid of that folder out of the way. And the other one was this. Klingelnberg. Oh, well, I used to live in Germany. I used to speak German, but that's quite a difficult word to pronounce, isn't it? Klingelnberg. Okay. Remscheid. And it's... Oh, there's another couple of books in here as well. Application examples for Schütter. Tool and cutter grinding machines. Cologne, Deutschland. Okay. All about... Grinding, cutting machines, etc. Okay, interesting. Uh, hob sharpening machine. Barber Coleman Company, Rockford, Illinois, USA. Oh, yeah, I do like Lynn, uh, American stuff, to be fair. That's an old one. If anybody in the States actually collects this stuff, let me know. Copyright 1939. Very interesting. That's pre war stuff. Jeez, man, price a dollar. Okay. That's just the copyright there. Okay, the Abrasive Wills Regulations 1970, Department of Employment, Her Majesty's Factory Inspectorate. An advert for spade drills. Ah, here we go. Here's the book. What's the date on this? Printed in Germany. Issue number 300, 1968. There you go. Look. Operating instructions for the AGW 30A. Oh it's, oh, it's actual photographs. That's very interesting. Obviously, not many of these were actually knocked out. Ah, oh, yeah. And there's the tools. The toolkit for the machine. That's interesting, yeah. Okay, I'll have a good look through that. Very interesting. So, 1968, nearly as old as me, jeez. So, anyway, I've got my bag of delights. Uh, I managed to pick up some tools fairly cheaply. First thing I picked up, okay, I've done. I bought a few from a guy. It's in quite bad nick. Fret saw. Needs a look. It's got a little bending. I didn't pay much for these. Fifth, probably like 50 pence each of this guy. That is a footprint. So, quite nice. That'll come up nice, I reckon. It's not in bad nick, really. Somebody sharpened that when they shouldn't have done the tip. They've over sharpened that, I think. Nice fret, so I'll do that up. You know, I've got a lot of projects to do, man. I know it. I've been working, and I, you know what I mean? A Stanley chest drill with the handle. Well, I mean, that's amazing. You never get in with the handle, do you? Never. Two pound. Yeah, that'll do up nice, won't it? They always do come up nice, to be fair. Okay, I overspent on this. I know it. Japanese made, which is good. Japan, Draper, Micrometer, 
brand spanking new. Did I overpay? It never been out of the bag. Two pound. What do you reckon? Did I overpay or is that a bargain? Personally, yeah, I was only joking. It's a bargain, I reckon. Okay, I'm happy with that. Then I've bought these two things. Now, that is a beautiful boxwood rule. And look who it's made by. Raybone Chesterman, made in England. Very, very good make. It's not that old because it's got centimetres. But it's in fantastic condition. I mean, that is really nice. I really like, I love boxwood rules and all sorts of rules. So I'm happy with that. And talking of rules, look at this. The golden rule. It's an advertising. Timber from George Shipway Limited, Birmingham. Now, this is fairly, this is vintage. Because the telephone number is 021. And I can't remember what year it went to 0121 as the Birmingham code. But look at that. How cool is that? What do you think? I love stuff with Birmingham, as everybody knows. What else have I got? Gilbo of Sheffield. I like snips. I like all tools, to be fair. I like all sorts of stuff, but these are nice. Very nice. I did all these like in little bundles, do you know what I mean? So I can't really say how much they cost. That came with it as well. And that's a Stanley Rasp. Shaper number 491. You can still get the blades for these, I believe. That's actually nice, isn't it? Very ergonomic. That's a big word for a Sunday. I love footprint stuff, as you know. And there we have a footprint hand drill. Pound. Well, I'm going to say a pound, but I bought it in a little bundle. So, yeah. Little lower there for me. It doesn't need, it doesn't need doing all. It just needs cleaning. It's got a very good um, multi-craft chuck on it as well. Yeah, they're, they're nice chucks, them. MC6 G41. That's a very nice multi-craft chuck. I didn't realise they came on with that. Good. What else we got? Oh, yeah. Nice trying it a foil. Needs a clean up. But the handle is lovely. So that will go to my file collection. I think the, the tips broke off, but that's okay. <laughs> Another raw. But this one is a extendable raw. Made, once again, look. Raybone, which is before they joined up with Chesterman. Rustless, made in England, the number 57R. Isn't that a little beauty? Love that stuff. Another, this is a uh, Stanley Surform, the 111A. I've got two or three of these. You can still get the blades for these as well. This just needs a lick of paint. And that'll come up really nice. What else did I buy? Ah, I'll save that one Let's have a look. I've got, oh, I'll drop, drop some. Okay. Another little rule. This is a London rule. London was a company. Made little rules and measuring equipment. That goes down to whatever that is. Tiny weenie, let's say. But that's a nice little rule, isn't it? Pocket rule for engineers. Now, I think this is a CK. Yes, it's got a beautiful handle. Absolutely gorgeous. Capped. You can see it goes all the way through. So proper stuff, shatterproof. That handle will come up nice. Got a couple of big gouges. But they're good because that means it's being used. Over at the end again, probably drawing down too much it's got some rust on it but that will come up nice love these handles some people can make these handles like show like jewelry uh british made a snail brand i do love snail brand it's n it's not moving at all so that needs to come apart and be fixed i hope it's not moving but that's a little short handle one usually the handle is a lot longer than that well, this is snow brand made in England. Very nice. Oh, yeah, I brought this. Yes, another tin. Don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. Stuff, I guess. 50 pence. 
for, to be fair, 50 pence, you can't turn it down, can you? Really? I mean, you know, I'd buy anything for 50 pence. A pair of circuit pliers, which I'll probably never ever use, but they are CK. Made in Germany. Like German stuff. I, I, my favourite stuff is, obviously, British, American and German. Uh, I love the bit of Japanese as well, but I do like German tools. There, they've got a lovely movement to them. Look at the handle. Nice. 3710. I would say there was probably 50s or 60s, wouldn't you? That'd probably fit in that tin. Very nice. Then. What have we got here? Getting to the end of it now. This is Self Grip Wrench. It's made by Elmo in Birmingham, England. Oh, it feels a bit tight, but still, that's still got good, some good action to it. They will still. So, as I said before, I was so rude and interrupted. Yes, this is made in Birmingham and it's still operational. You can still use it. I also picked up this for 50 pence, Renown, probably 50s, 60s, I would say, inches only. Plastic, never really heard of the company. But that'll come up nice no spring back so it's pre you know sort of technology if you like nice little one but i also bought this for 50p another ray bone off the same guy got the footprint drill off that's a beautiful ray bone steel that's in inches and centimeters but look at that that's nice isn't it i can't nice and go in the drawer as well but the favorite thing 50 pence, this is in the bottom of the thing, and this is the last thing I want to show you, this wrench, less than four inches long, look how fine the tooth work on, is on that, the teeth work, the engineering, it's only pressed, made in England, as you can see there, look, and it's made by uh, Webmore, I've never really heard of Webmore, just like I've never really heard of Barbara Coleman, I want some information on Barbara Coleman. If any Americans are watching this, then you know anything about them. Let me know. But look at that. Webmore. Same. Anybody got any information on this spanner? Just a press spanner. I was wondering when it was made. I'll have to look it up. Or I want information off you boys. So let's get it sorted. You know. You know what I like. I like you to subscribe. I like you to press the like button. I like having a chat with you. That's great. We can exchange information. Always good. I'd love information on that, that as well. So, yeah. So, thanks for coming. Um, I've got to pick some tools to do up if ever I get any time off work. Back to work Monday. So, uh, yeah, all is good. Hope you're all having a great weekend. God bless the Queen on her 70th um, Jubilee. Platinum. And uh, I'll see you again very soon. Sorry I've not been sort of watched as many of your videos that I'd like. I just literally haven't had the time. I've been absolutely full out. But uh, look after yourself and um, God bless. See you later.